This video covers the following concepts. The contribution margin per unit. I'm going to show you how to calculate these four concepts. Contribution margin ratio, break-even points in units of sales, and break-even points in dollars of sales. Okay, suppose we have a furniture. Okay, this furniture, the variable cost, okay, the variable cost of each unit of the furniture is $60, and we sell it for $80. The contribution margin per unit is calculated by taking the difference between the two, the selling price minus the variable cost. So $80 minus $60, that's $20. Contribution margin ratio calculated by contribution margin per unit divided by the unit selling price. So that equals, in this case, $20 contribution margin per unit divided by the selling price per unit, which is the $80. So 20 divided by 80, that's one fourth, 25%. Okay, so that's the pie chart for the blue area. That's the contribution margin for the product. Okay, so let's assume that the total fixed the cost of manufacturing the um, Furniture is twenty thousand dollars. Sorry, twelve thousand dollars. How many units we need to sell in order to break even? So, what do we mean by break even? Break even means that that is the uh, point where you are you neither a profit or in a loss. So basically, your income is zero. So let's assume that we need to sell. Uh, B units in order to break even, okay? So the operating income equals the difference between contribution margin and the total fixed cost. And that need to be zero in order to calculate the break even point. So the contribution margin per unit is $20. The number of unit is B. So total contribution margin is 20 times B minus total fixed cost 12,000, that equals zero. In order to solve B, we got 12,000 divided by $20 per unit. We figured out that this is 600 units. So that's the units of sales to break even. The dollars of sales to break even, that's using the B times the selling price per unit. So 600 units, each unit costs the selling price is 80. So in total, you need to sell $48,000 to break even. There's a different way to calculate sales, uh, the dollars of sales to break even. We are using the total fixed cost, 12,000, divided by contribution margin ratio, which we have calculated to be 25%. So in the calculation, 12,000 divided by 25 percent we get 48,000 exactly the same number as we calculated thank you